My name is Will Zamstutz, and I'd like to welcome you to the Profit First for Detailers Facebook group. I'm excited about this. I hope you guys are too. Otherwise, if you're not, you'll get bored in about 10 seconds and you'll leave, so don't worry about it. Anyway, I just wanted to outline real quick what the group is about. Um, we're going to get into with this intro video how to actually implement the Profit First um, system into your business. As you can guess by the title, it's going to teach you how to actually make a profit with your business, what a profit actually is. Like the definition of it is actually very hazy until I started getting into it and a little light bulb went on, which you'll see in about eight minutes more than likely, uh, what happens there. And um, basically what you need to do to get the system kick started and implement it into your business. It's much easier than it sounds. You gotta do a little homework, but well, well worth it uh, in the end. So I hope you guys, hope you guys stay tuned with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this intro out of the way and then we're gonna break into what the group is all about. He told me, well, just because the money was left in the bank, if you didn't actually pull it out and pay yourself with it as a profit, then you don't know what happened to it. It could have sat in the bank and then the next year you used it for business expenses. And I'm like, son of a bitch. If you're watching this, then chances are you're in the Facebook group that I've created, or perhaps somebody's passed a video along to you and you're interested in it. In the case, welcome. <laughs> uh, let's get into what this video is really about here. I want to do a quick introduction on what Profit First is, what the system is, where it came from, so on and so forth, how I heard about it, how I got into it, and how I'm liking it so far. I'm gonna try to keep it as short as possible, but bear with me here. So, first things first, Profit First. What the hell is it? It's a book. Hey, if you haven't downloaded it yet, damn people trying to text me. If you haven't downloaded it yet, please go on to Audible and download it. If you like actual physical books, go buy it. It's it's essentially a mandatory thing to be able to go forward with this. Um, I'm an Audible book guy, so that's, that's the route I went with it. How I first heard about it. Actually, I first saw it laying around on my girlfriend's dad's kitchen counter or something like that. We were over there and I saw it laying there and it's like, oh, profit first. Okay, yeah, another another business book about money. Big freaking deal, right? Like there's a million of them out there and they all seem to go over kind of the same ideas and so on and so forth. And he's a business owner. Um, so seeing that laying around his house, not exactly a surprise. So I just kind of like, yeah, whatever. Another, another, another book about money, not a big deal. A couple months later though, um, we were out in Vegas, and this was this was about a month or so ago now. So we're out in Vegas, and um, my girlfriend and I, Shay, we were there, and her dad was there, and his wife, and the four of us went out to uh, to like an after party um, for the martial arts super show that we were there for. So just kind of hanging out, and his um, his consultant comes over, and they start talking, and I hear the name of the book come up, and I'm just like it's loud in there. There's music going on. I can't really hear exactly what they're saying, but I had an idea of what they were talking about. So I just yeah, whatever. I didn't really pay much attention to it. But then he addressed me d directly. He's like, "Wills, have you, have you, uh, have you read the Prophet for First book by chance?" I'm like, "No, nah, I haven't really, haven't really checked it out." And he got like adamant about it. He's like, "You need to get this book." He's like, "You really need to read this book. It's totally changed." And this is coming from a guy who's been teaching martial arts and has had his own martial arts business for decades. But he's like, "It's totally changed how I've looked at my business." I'm like. Okay, it's got to be something pretty big if he's talking about it, because he runs a pretty successful business and has been doing it for a long time. He has his MBA in business. Um, he knows his shit, basically, and he's telling me, you need to check out this book. So he goes into a little bit about it as far as how it changes, how you look at how you spend your money, um, cutting expenses, which is, all seem like basic ideas and such, but he's like, just, just trust me, just get the book and get into it and you'll see what I mean. So me being me, I don't bullshit around. Um, I popped out my phone right away and I just downloaded the Audible. I'm like, I'll listen to this later. I'm the lamest Las Vegas person ever, okay? So I do not spend a lot of time out partying and crap like that. It, uh, it kind of, yeah, it's whatever. Maybe I'm too old for it, even though I'm not that old. But I spend a lot of time in the damn room, which is fine with me. You get the view, you don't get people breathing all over you, and you can listen to an Audible. It's great stuff, right? 
I'm more of a beach person. Anyway, so I start listening to it. Listen to the first couple of chapters, and it's getting into the idea behind it and how he came about this, uh, creating the system and so on. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm kind of seeing where this is going. This kind of makes sense. Most accountants, most businesses look at your revenue, the amount of money you make, and then your expenses, which is the amount of money you spend to keep your business running, equals profit, which is the amount of money that's left over. Now you look at that, and it's like, okay, that kind of makes sense, right? Dog's barking. Ignore it. Uh, it kind of makes sense, right? But his thing is you're putting profit last on the list. The reason we're in fucking business, man, is because we're trying to have something more than just a nine-to-five job that gives us a paycheck every couple of weeks. As business owners, not as the employees, but as business owners, we should be turning a fucking profit. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. But I've got money left over in the bank at the end of the year that I didn't spend. So I'm making a profit. So I'm probably pretty good here. But a lot of businesses don't. And I surprised myself when I did my analysis. Like, even though I thought I was doing good, not as much. I'll get into that in a second. So his analogy is rather than doing revenue minus expenses equals profit, he wants to do revenue minus profit equals expenses. Meaning you're going to put your profit first, right? And then what's left over is what you should be operating your business on. It is very easy, guilty, myself, very guilty. It is very easy to make a lot of sales, to have more revenue coming in than you've ever had before, and put it back into the business. Sometimes that put it back into the business crap gets taken overboard. And again, guilty. It's because you, you look at your phone app and you're like, okay, my business account says I have X amount of thousands of dollars in it. I can afford this. It's no problem. You go out and you fucking buy it, right? Like, you don't got to think about it. You got the money. It costs this much. It's less than what you have here. You go and you buy it. Changes your thinking. It changes your thinking, okay? I'll get into it in a second. So, he wants to put the profit first. To do this, you're going to first need to do a business analysis, which does not take long, especially if you have um, been tracking your business as far as um, your expenses, like knowing, not guessing, but knowing your expenses, um, knowing what you've been paying yourself, knowing you've been paying in taxes. It's going to kind of list that out. And then it's going to list out, based on the amount of money you've been making, what you should have been spending. And this should have been is based off of his analysis of hundreds or a thousand businesses that make the same amount of money as your business does and where a healthy percentage is for profit, a healthy percentage is for owner's pay, a healthy percentage for operating expenses, and a flat 15% being put to the side for taxes. Okay, so it goes through all that and then you can compare the two. And I was like, well, I got money left over in the bank at the end of the year for my last year, so I turned a profit. That's what I was looking at. So I was like, we did good. So we should be sitting pretty. And when I first put it in there, I'm like, yeah, my number is actually above what he says I should have been at. I'm like, let me just double check this though, because I'm not totally sure if my number is correct. So I email him, like email the author directly. He's cool. He actually responds. Um, he actually responds. But he, um, he told me, well, just because the money was left in the bank, if you didn't actually pull it out and pay yourself with it as a profit, then you don't know what happened to it. It could have sat in the bank and then the next year you used it for business expenses. And I'm like, son of a bitch, because I looked at the number I came up with that was the total in my bank at the end of last year. And then I look at the total number that I have in my bank this year and they're very close to each other. Now looking on paper, paper says I should have an extra X amount of thousands of dollars based on the profit that I've made this year. But it's not my account. So I'm like, well, what the fuck happened to it? It was used on expenses, okay? And you guys might run into that same thing. Um, it was eye-opening. It was, like, really eye-opening. My business isn't going upside down, but by the same token, I'm not making a profit, so I'm more of self-employed than business owner. And it's like, son of a bitch, right? So that's what sparred me or sparked me to create this group, okay? I know, I know damn well that there are a lot of detailers out there that are in the same exact situation or there are a lot of detailers out there that are not paying themselves at all they are paying their employees or they're making enough money to break even or in some cases they're either charging so little or blowing so much money on the business that they're not getting anything they're upside down they're in debt so this is what this 
the system in this book completely analyzes and then shows you fairly easily how to implement a system to reverse it, to make sure you're turning a profit, to make sure you're getting paid adequately, to make sure that you're operating your business on a reasonable amount rather than an exorbitant amount and basically screwing yourself over. So that's what this group is going to be about. I've already, like I said, put a lot of the book into play. Um, I'm excited about it, honestly, and I'm not going to go into full details on this video. We'll start breaking it down, but this is what this group is about. So this is what we're going to do. Hi, Jace. See the little guy in the back. So again, welcome to the group. I really hope you guys get as excited about this as I am, and I'm not getting compensated for this. I'm not getting paid by the other. Nobody's asked me to do this. I just feel like it's a good and, and the right thing to do. Um, because again, I know where we're at with our business and I know we've been pretty successful with it. And even I was like, shit, I have this much more that I can almost instantly put into play to make my business that much better. Hell yeah. I gotta say, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do this and I gotta share this. So I'm going to wrap this up. Get used to seeing the gorilla in the back. He will probably be in the background of some of my future videos. It's a little bit easier being in front of the computer rather than having to do the selfie thing. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, welcome to the group.